Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Napoleon Total War. So let's get going, let's capture this place. Look who won the game. This guy. Continue. Even though we won the game, we aren't on world domination just yet. That is Nelson, right? Yeah. World domination is coming though. We are marching with all our armies upon Madrid. And we shall leave Britain for last. Well, actually, we could go for Britain now. Let's see. Kingdom of Sicily. Let's see. Declare war. Okay, good. Uh, that's the frigate fleet, and um, that's the closest ship of the line. Let's see. Nelson must be here somewhere, right? Hey, come on. You march upon Madrid. You order resolve it. Another faction destroyed. Uh, you march towards Amsterdam. Take the slow route. This navy will go ahead and blockade Naples. And I'm swimming in money. There he is. I was looking for him. Okay, so. Frigate Captain, let's take a look at. There's another fleet here. A frigate fleet. Frigate fleet blockading a frigate fleet. Appropriate. Let's take this fleet, a hold it. We need an admiral. There we go. Okay, so he has 50 gunner, he has one Rasse, 50 gunner, 64, 74, 80, 90. 98 Let's go ahead I have faith in our Dutch fleet Otherwise we need to bring out the 104 the fleet with the Santissima in it Which of course I'd, ha I'd be happy to do Wait what? That's a miss. Is this a misty battle?
This is the coolest battle I think I've ever seen in Napoleon. They have the window, so we need to be on the defensive. However, that doesn't mean we shall not set sail. Too bad we can't adjust speed when... ...in this situation, in line sailing. Go ahead and sail close hold. Speed isn't the important factor here. He still has his sails set fully in this heading, which is good. See, have they taken a lot of damage? Oh, the 80 gun Shannon has. Okay. He isn't in full sales anymore. I figured that wouldn't last. But hey, this is unique. This is a night battle. That is definitely something else. I think it's a night battle at least. The British have fired the first shots. We have fired the first broadside. And we will keep on going in this heading for a while. I'm not sure what the British intend to do. If Nelson is going for his classic cutting the line, which he did at Trafalgar, which didn't happen in this version of history. Ooh. That hurt. R64 gunners aren't even scratching his paint. Just look at this. But soon our 74s will fire upon him. Hopefully they'll have more luck. We have a lot lighter fleet on hand, but I figured this would be enough. I'm not all, such, all too sure now that it has started, to be honest. But we will see. 
It's barely begun. I don't think we're gonna be too concerned about capturing ships in this battle. If we capture some ships, it would be nice, of course, but... At this point in the game, it, in the campaign, it doesn't really matter, considering my dominance. Only la dominance I'm lacking is the sea, really, with the British remaining contested by me, really. Just me. I've taken the Spanish fleet, the French fleet. Just the British remaining. And his line is going to be slowed down drastically by the loss of that foremast. Very nice, very nice. Let us start to tack with this. Let's make it a slow maneuver. Okay, not so slow after all. Good. Let's sail that heading for a while, actually. So we have managed to fight for the win. Wind. The ships on the back will, of course, be a bit behind, but... Let's continue the turn, really. No point in not doing that. We want to get the rear of their line under fire as quickly as possible. We have a fight to win after all. Oh, they had two 98 gunners. Okay. And the Rasse, which looks more like a 50 gun ship of the line than the Rasse. Nah, it looks. Okay, it looks like. decently like a Rasse. And I think that's a graphical glitch. No, it's damage. Damage to the ship. I wonder, however, why Nelson has, well, trade ships in his fleet. There's not really a point in doing having them in. There we go, that's a heading for full speed. We will catch up to the fleet again.
the Rose has taken quite a bit of damage on his port side. Mm. Can we afford to go a bit further? Ooh, that 64 gunner has also taken a lot of damage from before this battle. I don't know if I already noticed that or not, but I did now. Is that merchantman gonna turn? Or do I need to sail that way? Well, at least there goes my nice long line. Which is something. Oh, he lost his mizzen mast, this. The Gouden Say part. Lost his mizzen. Poor guy. Go more like that. Our line is almost in contact with the enemy line again, so... And as soon as we round past the unicorn, we're going to go down again to meet the main lines, line ship. While the fleet slowly moves up. There we go. Gonna be able to pick up some real speed again. With our 64 gunners. Go that heading. We have the advantage of speed on our vessels. We have a lot faster ships. Especially with their uh, first rate having lost his foremast. Granted, our one of our 74s has lost his mizzen, but... Even so, I think that ship is faster. And this strategy also relies on us being faster than them. We're gonna obliterate some merchantmen. And then we will continue on to their line ship. Some nice stern rakes will happen now. Oh yeah. Very nice. Although we didn't see it very nicely due to lag. Annoying though that they are the first raid is sailing close hold. We're gonna try and cut the line to Well, get to their first rate sooner. Since that is our target. And this move will put their first... 
or uh, their ships of the line on one side and their Indiamen and merchantmen on another. Which is perfectly fine for my purposes. Although that 64 gun third rate is gonna ruin things. Unless I turn even more. Let's see. I can do about that kind of heading. Merchantman surrendered at least. And they are going to be annoying indeed. Very annoying indeed. Because this is not what I initially planned, but as is with every plan, it won't survive contact with the enemy. And this is where the line temporarily halts. While the congestion slowly works it w its way free. With that said, our Admiral's flagship doesn't look too healthy. Not too healthy at all. Right, there's a fire. Take care of that fire. Or don't. I have a better idea. I'm gonna use something which was used in the last Anglo-Dutch war. And that something is a fire ship. Except he's not on fire anymore. In which case he's going to YOLO that 80 gunner. Because YOLO. He has more crew, so... We have kind of gotten ourselves in a pickle. That's 64 again. Ah, 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 ah. Go ahead, get to the rose. You're on fire, let's abuse that fact. We won't get to those two guys, but we'll get to the rose. Just go ahead and board that, board the Shannon. Um, and this is where things turn messy. That group can just... Ah, bollocks. It just froze. 
Okay, welcome back. So, the last one froze. So, what are we going to do? Well... I'm actually going... I am actually going to end the campaign right here. We have hit the objective. If you want to see more, do an outrage in the comments. I'll save this and... I'll continue if enough people ask for it, but if not enough people ask for it, it's over. So yeah, if you enjoyed this series, please leave a like. If you want to see more, well, leave an outrage in the comment about you want to, wanting to see me finish the campaign. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!